So one way of thinking about stance is not just that it's our physical structure, but it's our stance to life. And in the, in the wording, this actually makes sense linguistically. What's our stance on something, we say? So, you know, if I ask someone, what's your stance, what would you do? Yes, of course, you're standing, but what's your stance? Mine might be, for example, it's quite forward, my habitual stance. So something like that might be more my stance, more yang in one of the models we'll look at, more fire, yeah? So I'm going to ask a group of people what's their habitual stance, and they might not know, but if they just intuitively let their body take a shape, often that's quite revealing. So intuitively, some of them are taking stances. Actually, well, they're all standing to watch. They're all taking a stance that was all quite different, so we're just, we're just exaggerating that. Yeah. Now exaggerate it a little bit. Remember, the body learns for this exaggeration. So just make it a little bit more, more obvious than you might normally. Yeah, so if you're grounded, be really grounded. If you're up in the air, be really up in the air. If you're open, be really open. So maybe there's certain aspects of your calendar. There might be a, I'm Mark Walsh, and there might be a Mark Walsh, for example, you know, in one's character. Um, it's also worth getting some feedback. Sometimes people do what I'd call aspirational uh, stances, something they'd like to be or something they think they should be. So it's really worth getting feedback from a few people that know you well, whether this stance sort of ha has a sense of how you are. Remember, this isn't you permanently. This is just a pattern which you'll habitually fall into. It's like um, if your car stereo is tuned to a particular radio station, so whenever you turn it on, it automatically goes to that. When we look at the part on emotions and disposition, we'll look at this more thoroughly. because You'll see that these, remember these stances are ways of seeing the world, ways of thinking, ways of relating, ways of uh, tendencies towards emotion, to behavior, to the work we do, all these kind of things.